He played chess. Um, he loved riding his bike. Super, super just active, caring, loving. Four-year-old Elin Amaya is a social butterfly and on many occasions, a mama's boy. When we worked on homework, our schoolwork, he knew that I wouldn't touch my phone. So he he loved and wanted that time. <laughs> Two days before Christmas, their time together turned tragic. Authorities say a domestic dispute at a home in Hillview led to Elin being shot in the head and his mom assaulted. I thought he was not alive. Um, I was hysterical, crying, screaming. The preschooler was rushed to surgery and is now in stable condition at Norton Children's Hospital. He's still unconscious and on a ventilator, but responds to familiar voices like his mom's. Look at him. Look. It makes me feel better because I know that he's listening and responding. I wanted him to know that I was trying. Doctors tell Ariel that Elon is recovering well, but head trauma is unpredictable, so they're taking it one day at a time. Elon will eventually need physical and occupational therapy and rehabilitation. I don't know if he will be the same, but I'm still hopeful. She says friends and family have been very supportive, but medical bills and other expenses are piling up. A go GoFundMe page has been created to help relieve the financial burden so she can focus all of her time on Elon and his fight to live. That I want him to be able to interact and play with other kids. It's really, I, I wanted him to have a life for him. The chief of Hillview Police Department tells me that the alleged shooter who is deceased is only identified as a boyfriend. And the final piece of this investigation is reviewing the home's video doorbell footage. And Chief Mahoney says it's expected to wrap soon. Alexis Matthews, WLKY News.